what's going on guys welcome back to another reaction here on the terabyte reacts channel today we're doing peaky blinders season three no <laughs> season five episode three okay so here we are with the not trust in michael story um so the things that are going on they, they the brutal scene of last episode really caught me off guard with um them killing abraham's son bonnie the billy boys ain't playing games okay they are coming after tommy full stretch they ain't they ain't leaving no stones on turn they coming right at him right at him okay so to things that are going to unfold this season um i really do think that tommy's gonna come out on top again i don't think we're gonna lose anybody this season as in anybody from the main cast i don't think so last episode i really didn't like what what lizzie and and and, and linda was doing i think i think in a certain way they're forced what they're doing is kind of forced um but i still like them as characters on the show don't get me wrong as i was saying last last review i was saying that lizzie's actions kind of seem out of pocket um out of character you know it's not something i could ever see her doing gun i mean a desperate mom really you could look at it from that angle as in a desperate mom would do anything for their kids right gotta protect the cubs right so you know maybe that's the angle they were trying to portray in that that scene where she came out with the gun but as i said it was still out of character for me no you, you know what i'm saying I never saw her for that kind of person. That's why, I, I I mean, I guess that's why it was so easy for Tommy to walk up to her. Like, Give me this. <laughs> Give me this gun. Stop it. This, this is not you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, at this point, Tommy don't know who to trust because nobody is listening to him. Again. You know what I'm saying? And Polly is always looking scrumptious, as always. So... Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, make sure you hit that like button before you go and watch the episode. And then we'll be back here for the review. Um, there's more to come. I know the fourth episode is out, but we'll catch up soon enough. Okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys for the review. what's going on guys oh my god that was an excellent episode the setups uh oof, that was crazy that was a crazy episode still not trusting michael <laughs> they um <sighs> this situation is so unique but now i understand and as i said like now i understand why they were doing what they were doing with with Lizzie and and Linda like it, it it's clearer now you know what i'm saying is you know as explained in this in this episode basically you marry a shelby you stay married to a shelby okay but linda is trying to run i don't think you know she's maybe she was consider being in, being with with that guy but you know it's like a death sentence you get what i'm saying like it's like a death sentence like he's not going to put hands on linda but the other guy is gonna get it because if if he has no inclination at all because the guy could be innocent in in this situation where as in he not trying to do anything with linda he's just trying to talk you know but at the same time that's why i said during during the scene when it was happening i was like no he's not smart at all because he's like why would you say to him he doesn't she doesn't want to see you like 
you no, you don't say that. <laughs> it was like this is an angry husband here that thinks that you've been sleeping with his wife, come to confront you about it, and your answer is she doesn't want to see you. You're looking for an ass whooping. Like let's, you know what I'm saying? You're basically looking for an ass whooping with that answer. So, um, nothing too off the that opening scene. Oh my god, that opening scene with them talking to the nuns and you know what they're talking to them about them beating they, they make the black kids wash their clothes with different with a different soap the soap my guy the soap are you serious they're not even good enough to share soap I mean, I've heard of crazier stuff than that when it comes down to racism, but that, it hit me. It hit me, you know, because, I mean, there's a, there, there's a lot of things that when it comes down to racism that I, that I really, as I said, I've never really experienced racism in its purest form until I got to America. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy how how potent it is, you know, back in the day and still is today. It's just more hidden more than anything, but it's still there. You know, it's not as blatant as it, as it was back in the day, even though it's coming back really strong and it's all over. It's not just in America. It's everywhere. I mean, it's in, you know, sports. It's just crazy, man. To think that these people could still be in the woodwork, still hating on people because the color of their skin is just crazy. But when it comes on to that opening scene was absolutely brilliant. I love the fact that they were that they withdraw their contributions to the school and stuff like that, and to take those kids into their own, um, you know, schools and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, and it was a well acted scene too. Um, you know, it, it was just crazy. They were beating the kids with bricks. I mean, we're some crazy stuff, but that just takes the cake. Like, <laughs> you know, like that's crazy. I mean, bricks and hoses. I mean, you know, I don't want to talk about it, but I have been, I've gotten a ass whooping with a hose and it's, it's not fun. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. It's not fun. It was an event. It, it it was an event. I don't want to talk about it because, you know, it's letting in on a bit too much on what stuff that happened to me as a kid that, I, I, you know, um, it was not my mom. So don't think it was my mother. It's not, <laughs> it's not my mother. But anyways, um, certain things that happen in life, you just got to take it, learn from it, and just move forward, you know? So the episode proceeds as in um, with this guy that he's basically going, he, he went to, uh, oh my God, I can't, the dude that got Ada pregnant, the black dude from the, um, the soldier dude, right? He's basically, they're going to organize something so they could spy on this guy that they're going to do the, the um, that Tommy is going into his organization to, you know, kind of undermine him, spy on him, because he's planning to start a fascist party, like, for real? They were so blatant with stuff like that back then, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just crazy, but this guy's like, we've met bad guys before, but this guy is the devil, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that line was very nice but they still you know I, i'm waiting to see what they're going to do towards that we don't, I, I don't know if this season is still six episodes but i'm waiting to see what they're going to do towards that like how are they going to continue this i don't think there's enough time in the season you usually do six episodes but we'll see how they do it how they pace it along to see because this probably carry over into next season, but I think we're gonna get we're gonna deal with the Billy Boys 
this season, which I like the revenge that Aburama got on them because this, these dudes, they just came out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not even saying if this is revenge from way back with the with the with the um with the IRA and stuff like that. Like they're not even saying anything about him. It's just like, oh, these guys, they know the dude, or they do business with the dude that he's trying to infiltrate, or the guy that's trying to get time. He's like, listen, it's not that kind of deal. You know what I'm saying? You don't get nothing that you want. This is all about, you know what I'm saying you being basically a henchman for me so um but tommy ain't disagreeing with nothing you know what i mean um you know all is all as you know so he's gonna be guessing he's gonna be sending information um about basically tommy is basically a spy in more than one way right now so i'm looking forward to that anyways this was a great episode man nice setup episode one scene that we got with Abiramid pouring hot tar. If you guys have never felt hot tar, that ain't nothing nice, okay? I'm surprised it didn't melt through his skin, but hot tar is not, it's not anything to play with. That junk is, it's very potent, let's say that, and it's, it's, it's the stuff that they pour I don't think they do it anymore, or probably they do. They do. They do use hot tar to 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 make asphalt for roads, um, yeah, for roads and highways, whatever. For the roads, asphalt. That's what tar. That's tar when it's dry. That's what it creates. It creates the roads and stuff like that, along with with gravel and you know you know stone and all all that stuff that they used to make road they use hot tar that's what they use to make to smooth it out so you're not driving on gravel right <laughs> so to get that poured on your face bruh that is not that's not pretty it's not nice <laughs> let's just say that but it's a pretty cool scene man glad that arthur showed up in time to save them to save him because he didn't know they were coming even though this guy was basically basically marching to the camp he's so bold you know what i'm saying so he's declared war like tom tommy shelba <laughs> if it's war you want war you shall have <laughs> anyways so that was great man thank you guys for tuning in for that episode drop a like drop a comment in the comment section let me know what you think of this season so far in the comment section and also, man, subscribe if you're new. If you're enjoying this season, man, hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Peace.